What's up guys, Dotnex12 here. Taylor, you are a bad <laughs> little boy. One of my buddies is over here, guys. Um, and as you can see right here, this is another 3D printer. It is actually a 7.5 inch 3D printer, as you can see right there. Let's see. Right there. 7. Right there's the 7. I know you can see it because I can see it. Alright. It is small. It can print 5x5x5. Five by five by five. It's quieter than the Da Vinci, um, which is in there, and it's a gargantuan. I'll make another video on it eventually. Um, but M3D actually sent me this printer to do a review on. Uh, they also sent me, once I got the printer, I, I, I seen this film, the Carmelian ink. It changes colors when it gets so hot. Uh, let's see. It turns... I think it turns white whenever it gets to 30 degrees Celsius, which is about 60 degrees. Or it might turn that blue color that it is right now, and it turns something else when it gets cold. And then, this is the biggest filament roll for it that you will get, is this right here. But now this printer weighs 6 pounds. There about. It's very, very light. You can see it has your power and your USB back here. Uh, it is not a standalone printer. It always has to be plugged into your computer at all times. Um, I'm going to do a slide over the M3D logo here now while it's lit up, but it does a lot of white behind it. So that looks okay. I wish it cut off at night because it's kind of annoying. Um, the extruder is decently big. Um, I'm doing rollovers of all of this stuff, so the extruder is decently big on it. Um, the film is actually under the bed here, um, right there. Like I said, I'm doing rollovers, so you're not supposed to see it from here. Um, now, I do have a couple of dabbling time lapses from it. So, let me go ahead and show you those, and when you get back, I will have the printer running. And I'm just going to, because my camera is muted on time lapses, my webcam. Um, so yes, let me go ahead and show you those when we get back. I'll actually have the printer up and running on a table sitting right there. I will be moved, you can see out my window then. And you will get to hear just how old the printer is in case you want to buy one. Um, it is on the market for uh, $350,000. It's $350, guys. Uh, filament is $13 a roll for PLA and ABS and they're special filaments. This chameleon has not been released yet. You can't buy this yet. So I mean I guess this is like a first on YouTube other than their channel. But this is probably more expensive I'd say. Uh, but like a roll like this is $13. And actually it is pretty high print quality. It printed this keychain. I'm doing a rollover of it. So now let's go ahead and show you those time lapses and then you'll get to see the printer printing and hear it and see what you think.
Alright guys, so here the printer is printing a little vase. And now, this is take three of this because my buddy is annoying me and it was not a good take because last take something bad happened. But you can hear the printer is fairly quiet. I'm just gonna, you know, shut up. There, just listen to it for a second. I don't even know if my camera will pick it up. I can't see my audio monitors to tell. Because I'm not looking at that right now. Um, now, the printer itself is fairly quiet. Uh, it is 4% done on that vase. This film is actually under the bed in it. One of those little rolls like those that you can't see sitting over there. Um, but now we're going to do this. And I'm going to make a separate video here in a little while on the chameleon ink. And we'll print something with it that will be... Okay, and my buddy is not going to be anywhere near my camera while I make that video. So, um, let me let this print, and um, we'll go ahead and bring you back whenever it's done. Okay, guys, so there was the time lapses. I hope you enjoyed them. Um, but now, right here, you can see this little vase I just have printed. It just has stopped, actually. So, now, to get it off, you can either take it right here, and my hand looks so big. I'm going to push this out of the way. You can then take it and just wiggle it a little bit. Sometimes they'll come off, sometimes they won't. And that one there did. See right there, the little vase did pop right off. I'm going to hold it up here. See, it's decent quality little vase. But now I showed you, I forgot to do my touch over of the, where the filament is. The filament is actually right under here. So there's a roll of filament right there, one of the M3D rolls, and it just goes through a tube and it comes out of that black tube up there. And then the bed just pops right back in. So yeah, let me go ahead and move my camera and I'm going to tell you about the filaments that I used for the time lapses. Alright guys, so I told you I was going to show you the filaments that I used. Um, they, they were Ninja Flex and then I just had normal filament and I'm pretty sure I spelled filament wrong. Um, this is the vase that I just printed. This one right here. And um, then I printed this one here the other night. Uh, you can't really see the texture in it. You can see it a little bit right there. I mean, it's got like a little cross line texture to it. And then I printed this one that you've seen. And then I printed the bottom half of this vase, this one here in this red material and this red material is actually called ninja flex and ninja flex is really cool because it's squishy and i'm doing a close-up over of it just holding it in my hand squishing it um but that is that guys i really love this little printer um i will be making that video on the chameleon filament as soon as i know what temperature it changes at and i learn a little bit more about it but in the meantime, guys, thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. I promise. I'm make, trying to get a list of videos made up so I can upload them. Because I've got a lot on my head right now. But, you know, yeah. I will have a video. Um, Minecraft episode 7 might be a little late, or 8, or whichever one it is, because it's kind of long, and my internet sucks, because you had to tell. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.